Now this is our Elite milling machine. Uh, it's got a, a very speed head. It's got a three axis DRO system but made by Mitsutoya. Um, and now this has still got the RA taper but it's a much larger machine than say like a Bridgeport. The table is actually 54 inch so the biggest one on a Bridgeport you'd get would be a 48 uh, normally. This one's 54 by 10 so it does give you a lot more capacity. And again, it's got power feed in the x-axis as well. Uh, it's got a, a low voltage light. So it's a really nice machine. I'm just going to run through some of the operation on it so you can see it all running. And by all means, obviously, come down and see it for yourself in real life. OK, so the x. You should be able to see moving on the digital readout system there. It's almost no backlash. I mean, it's hardly been used at all, this machine. It's got safety handles on the X as well, so they just spin when you're under power feed. With the Y, there's very little backlash there. It's nice and smooth all the way, front to back. You can see the DRO moving there as I move this scale. Okay, and the same with the knee. Absolutely silent. And again, you should be able to see it moving on the, on the DRO system there. So that's all fine. Just turn that handle around so we don't walk into it. Okay, so powering up the x-axis now <coughs> on the power feed. So that's on feed mode. I can go to rapid by pressing this button on the top. Rapid's all the way down. And when it, you can adjust these stops to wherever you want them to be. Uh, when it hits the stop inside, it'll, it'll auto stop automatically. And again, going the other way. It works fine either way. I'll just test it for you and show you it working, which it does. Rapid override again in the other direction. It's all fine. As you take your finger off, it just goes back to feed again. Okay. So now moving on to the variable speed head and the quill. Okay, so we're in high range at the moment. We've got the quill engaged, which is this handle here. And we'll fire up. So I've engaged the quill, you'll see the feed handle coming down, and when it goes to this stop, which is adjustable to wherever you want it to be, it should stop automatically. So for every spindle speed, you've got three different feed rates, which I'll demonstrate in a second, once this is tripped out automatically. There we go, so that works fine. So that was the fastest of the feed rates so I'll engage it again and I'll move to the very slowest which is horizontal is the slowest so you should be able to see the handle moving a lot slower now and I'll move to the medium okay just so you can see them all working back to the slowest and back to the fast again and I'll let it trip out again. Here, how quiet the head is, it's really nice. Okay, so that's all fine. Um, I'll just reverse that for you as well. So, we engage and reverse it. So it's now going back up. And again, you can knock off wherever you wish. I'll put it in reverse. I'll show you the brake working, which it does. Now it's coming down because I've reversed the spindle here. Okay. So I'll put that to the top and I'll just put the quill lock on just to show you that works. That's fine. Normally if you don't work, if you're not using the quill for any length of time, don't just leave it running, it's just going to wear it out needlessly. So you just use this lever here and leave it on disengage when you're not using it. Okay, so I'm going all the way down all the way to the top of the spindle speed, which on this machine is at 2,525 uh, your last increments. And that's the lowest. And it does actually say to three and a half thousand here, but after 2100 it does go into the red, so that wouldn't be a very good idea. And it does go up there, but it doesn't, it does sound like it's taking off, so 
I wouldn't think that was a pretty good idea if you want a machine to last, it, last any length of time. Okay, I'll just put it into revert, stop it with the brake just to show it working, and reverse again. It's just a quiet and reverse. Again, I'll go all the way to the top. Absolutely fine. Okay, stop, brake, just to show you where. Obviously, you only use the brake normally for getting the drawbar out. Don't do what I've just done normally. Okay, so just change the low range now. Just make sure it is in before it's locked in. The pin's gone in before you fire up. Okay, so now we're at 140. And the top is about 300 RPM. Again, it's absolutely fine, super silent, and that's the bottom there. And in reverse now, in low range again. And that's all fine. Okay, swapping it back over to neutral, it's got a neutral position here, so you can clock up, and back onto high again, again, make sure it's in before you fire up, and there you go, just showing you the changeover is, is fine, and just a few things to watch out for, okay, so nice machine, please come and have a look at it for yourself, thanks for watching.